Welcome back. A Republican candidate flipped a city council seat in Jacksonville, Florida last night, winning a pretty closely watched race that both parties were watching for a bellwether in the upcoming midterm races. Unofficial results uh, that were posted by the county show Republican Ken Howland won nearly 52 percent of the vote, while the Democratic candidate, Trace Polson, won just over 48. We knew it was going to be close. We knew it was a swing thing. And... Here you go. The Democratic loss is a pretty big blow for the party after they had managed to flip the former Republican stronghold in the last two election cycles. Shaquille Brewster has been following the midterm developments in Duval County for us in our county-to-county -county project. He's been on the ground in Florida. That city council race, obviously, if you're wearing what you're wearing now, you're not in Florida today, but you were just in Duval. Things have changed. Look, this is the epitome of sort of the Petri dish race. That's exactly right, Chuck. And, you know, if we just kind of show our work a little bit, both party chairs uh, in the months leading up to this runoff election, they said this would be a big test for them. You have the Republican Party chair telling me that they've invested more time, more energy, more money into this single city council race than any single city council race uh, in their history. You have the Democratic chair saying that this was going to be a test of the enthusiasm, the energy of their party, especially in this sour political environment. And yesterday, you saw the Republican ended up winning that race. It was a tight margin. Everyone knew it was going to be close. Everything in Florida is close. Uh, but you had the Republican able to win in a place where Democrats thought things were trending blue. Look, we've been following Duval County because this is a place where it's an old Republican stronghold, but Democrats won it in 2018, as you mentioned, with Andrew Gillum. And then again in 2020, they thought they were making some progress. But this shows the result of that tough political environment, especially where you have the issues that were being discussed. You had Nick Holland bringing up and making a central point of his campaign public safety, saying that, telling me the day before the election, this was going to be a referendum on public safety and support for police and law enforcement in this county. And Democrat Tracy Paulson, she had to push back against that. She had to defend uh, against allegations that she supported defunding the police. And it seems as if that had an impact in that final result, Chuck. And, Shaq, you are reminding us of, a, of an expression we now use more and more, which is, all politics is national. Again, a city council race with two issues that we could have heard in any congressional race coast to coast. Exactly. And you heard the Republican there saying at his victory speech yesterday, he said, this is a model for how you win back, for how Republicans will win in the midterm elections. He said, we figured it out. And you get a sense of, again, taking advantage of this national mood where the Democratic chair mentioned to me that people are talking about rising prices, talking about inflation, rising gas prices, rising, rising food prices and grocery bills. That is having an impact on these local races. Races that, I mean, we're talking about city council. There's nothing they can yeah. really do about the gas prices, but voters are tying those issues to these local candidates. Look, what this race shows you, here was a 50-50, essentially, district, if you will. Even amounts of money and a four-point win for the National Party out of power, it shows you, tells you. Essentially, what this was able to tell us is which way the wind is blowing right now in Duval County.